What's going on YouTube? We're going to cover uh, replacement axles for the SCX24. This one specifically is for the JLU Jeep Wrangler, which is on the Muse chassis here. 50 turn 050 motor. Endura, 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 high clearance links, so on and so forth. So I've lost the other piece of paper, but so I went with the finally settled with the DK NY. And if you want to pause your video, that is the part I got. It is the full set of CVD axles. Um, they work great. I was shooting a video a minute ago. My front wheel started spinning up here and was doing nothing. I started worrying about it and realized the pin that holds your spacer fell out. That's all it was. So I just need a new wheel pin. Um, what sucks is I ordered... Um, a set of CVD axles, complete set from Amazon. Um, it was like e Pinion or something like that was the brand. They look decent. They're all stainless steel. Let's see if we can get this to focus in. I got one lap across my course. Let's see where's the bent side. So yeah, it's bent slightly upwards here. And it's hard to tell. Yeah, there is a bend in it. And here's what happened right there. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to focus any closer. But this thing is chewed up. So what happened is the end came off. It was no longer spinning. This end wasn't. This end was still being driven. Um, and as it came out, the, uh, the pin came out to one side and it's stuck now. Anyway, the pin came out to one side inside my axle and just continued to turn. You can see one side's higher than the other. And it chewed up the inside of my axle. Uh, right inside the plastic area. So right where your uh, mounting screws, your top bottom mounting screws go. So chewed it all to hell. And uh, I contacted Amazon and told them, you know, before, you know, it was just, they weren't even CVDs. And uh, they refunded my money, and they reported the seller. Oh, no, this was the wrong axle. Or is, that was the wrong axle. Here it is. And you can actually see how bent it is. And that's the offending end. That was doing all the scraping in there. So, yeah, horrible camera work, sorry. But anyway, yeah, so that's the, that's the bent one. And it was just in there... Spinning and spinning and spinning, which I only, you know, once it stopped, it locked up. And, but it would go about three or four turns either way and lock up again. So as I was going, what the hell's wrong with my truck? It chewed and chewed the inside of that axle. So these things were a damn joke. I spent probably 45 minutes trying to get the inside of my axle cleaned out. So I could mount the, uh, the brass back on there. So, anyway, went with the DKNYs. They are nice CVDs. Let's see if we can get a, a shot of them here somehow. Oh, my controller is still on. So, inside there, you will see the brass, which covers your pins and keeps that from happening. Um, the steering is actually, I got it maxed out now. And it does not slow down. Let's see if I can get a shot of that without it taking off on me here. So at full turn, there's no skipping, no binding. It is just nothing but smooth. And that is the turn radius maxed out. So I actually gained in my steering on this. And happy camper about that i feel like this back axle here i didn't change the back axle. these are still stock i feel like this may be bent because even with the wheel i know a lot of times the foams will give it the appearance that something's wrong so if you push the foam you know to where you think it's bad it kind of helps out a little bit but i think this side might be bent because this is the side that broke initially when it fell off my table three times but anyway again uh DKNY uh, CVD axles.
these have worked out beautifully. I actually gained some steering. And, um, yeah, they're rocking pretty good. I guess I will now, uh, I'm going to replace that pin. And I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out the rear axles. I might keep the 64s on. I hate to have them just sitting because they work so nice. But nothing on my course is challenging now. So, um, if you guys are planning on building a course, make it really, really challenging. Um, even the Gladiator with the smaller competition pins had no problem. The FCX has only one problem, high centering. So if I take it back to stock, don't have that problem. Uh, it only high centers on a couple of spots. So, I mean, if I just hit those with a little bit more juice, it, it does fine. It is cool the way it looks, but on that body, I don't know. I've got a, uh, my buddy's printing out some bodies for me. If anybody's interested in them, let me know. Um, the Unimog body, which I think I'm going to throw on here. I think. We will see. It just depends how tall it is, because if it can't get through a couple spots of my course from the height... That might be a problem. I've also got a rock bouncer chassis coming. Um, a couple stinger bumpers. I'm going to get another set of uh, rock sliders for that. I might put the other ones back on. So I'm going to do a video on this next. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks.